Welcome back, guys, to another college football video. Today's video, I'll be ranking the top 25 teams in college football, and this is my official rankings. I did it way too early, like a month ago. This one is official, and with less than 65 days away, I think it's just the right time to do it. I've been doing a lot of predictions lately, and you know I have a hot takes on a bunch of bunch of teams. And these rankings are special, and I think they're really awesome. So like and subscribe and comment down below. Number 25, we have Minnesota. And Minnesota is a team that's going to shock the world and be surprisingly really good with Tanner Morgan. And in my way too early, I had them unranked. This offense is going to be good, and the defense is always really good. And coming from unranked to 25 is pretty good. And then we have Texas at number 24. And I also didn't rank Texas inside my top 25 way too early. Hitting number 24 is a good spot for Texas, I think, because I haven't had them ranked in a few years. Quinn Ewers is going to be perfect. And number 23, you have the LSU Tigers. They dropped down a bit because I had them at 21 in my way too early predictions. But I think 23 is a perfect spot for this team. If Jaden Daniels can get them clicking, being inside the top 25 is a good co accomplishment. At number 22, we have Purdue, and like everybody else, my way too early for them, I unranked them. Purdue and Aiden O'Connor are going to be a great force in the Big Ten, maybe even a chance to win the Big Ten. And then at 21, we have Wisconsin. Wisconsin's a team with Graham Mertz to look out for. Graham Mertz has struggled throughout the years, but I think he's going to come back, and he's going to be really, really good. And in the way too early, I ranked them at 19. And then next up at number 20, we have Notre Dame. I'm so tired of them being overhyped. I had them at 7 the way too early. Then I just figured out, like, whoa. I'm so tired of this team being overhyped. They always lose games. They'll never make a call to a playoff again, probably. And a new coach, you don't know what they're going to do. I just don't see Notre Dame being really, really good this year like they have been over the past years. And anyway, with Ian Book, they still weren't really good. They just got the benefit of the doubt because they had an easy schedule. Now coming in at number 19, we have the Auburn Tigers. And, and way too early, I had them at 18. But I think Zach Calzada is going to be good, and they're going to have a bunch of good games with Penn State. They might end up coming out on top. They might end up losing, but they're going to be a good team. Number 18 is Nebraska, and this is pretty surprising because they were unranked. I have Nebraska only losing like four games this year. So come this right here is really exciting. Nebraska is really going to be a good team, and you believe me or not, it's going to be crazy, and they're going to have a good year. Number 17, we have North Carolina, and North Carolina is another team that's like, whoa, made a jump because they were unranked inside my top 25 way too early. But my real prediction is I have Drake May and Josh Downs carrying this offense, and it's going to be one of the best in all of the country. And then at number 16, we have the Ole Miss Rebels. Lane Kiffin's one of the best coaches, and Jackson Dart's one of the best quarterbacks. In my way too early, I had them at 14, so they dropped only two spaces. Not a lot. They're still inside my top 20, which is really good. Jackson Dart's going to have a Heisman type year. Number 15, we have Michigan State, and now I'm reaching the top 15. Way too early, I had them at 13, so that's another two space drop. Michigan State's going to be a good team. I just don't have enough hype as of this year to go to a Big Ten championship. I just don't think they're that good quite yet. A few more years, and Mel Tiger's going to have a full dynasty and another college football playoff appearance. Coming in at number 14, we have Michigan, and I'm tired of everybody giving this team way too much hype. Now, way too early, I had them at 10. Most people have them at 5. Guess what? They had one good year. It's not going to happen again. And you can be like, oh, you're just a hater for Michigan football. I'm actually not. I actually love the Big Ten, and I love everything about that conference. Coming in at number 13 is the Texas A&M Aggies. And in way too early, I had them at 9, so another team that drops down a few spaces. I just don't see what's so good about this team. In the power rankings, they were number one because they had the best defense in college football and the fourth best offense in college football. According to my rankings, that's where I had them. And then at number 12, we have the Oklahoma State. Cowboys, and you're like, whoa, that's a huge, huge jump. They were unranked in my way too early. I have so much faith in Spencer Sanders and Oklahoma State. Coming on at number 11 is another huge jump, and that's Oregon. Oregon, I had them out way too early in the 17th, which is absolutely crazy. I think they're going to knock off Georgia week one, and Bo Nix is going to have a Heisman type year. He might even be end up being a candidate, which would be crazy. And then at number 10, I have Utah. Utah is a team that's getting a lot of hype, and I believe that hype. Top 10 is absolutely a good year for Utah. They're going to make another New York Six Bowl, and it's going to be a crazy year again. For this Utah team, I have them repeating the Rose Bowl. How crazy would that be, a two-time Rose Bowl? I mean, Utah is just really good with Cam Rising. Coming in at number 9, a team that has so much hype, and that's USC. I'm all way too early ahead of them at number 5. I think they're going to be really good, just not college football playoff appearance yet. But number nine's a good settled spot, I feel like. 
And Caleb Williams, Jordan Addison, Brendan Rice, and Travis Dye are going to be an absolute force with Mario Williams. Coming in at number eight, we have the Penn State Nindy Lions. I have so much hype around this team. Way too early, I've had number four, but I think eight's literally perfect for them. Sean Clifford's great. Noah Kane and Kayvon Lee are really, really good. Not Noah Kane. I forgot he transferred. Nick Singleton's going to be great. Then I the Sud's going to be awesome. They have some of the best tight ends in the Big Ten. They have the best corner and the best safety in college football. Coming in at number seven, we have Baylor. And Baylor's just going to be really good. I had him at 15 away to early. That's a huge jump. I absolutely love Baylor this year and what they're doing with Blake Shapin. He's going to be one of those accurate quarterbacks in college football. And I think that's what Baylor needs. They need an accurate quarterback who can make him good passes all the time. Coming in at number six, we have the Washington Huskies. I mean, I had them unranked inside my top 25 way too early. Coming on being number six, I feel like Michael Penix Jr. is an absolute dominant quarterback. Michael Penix Jr. is going to put up a Heisman-type year. He might make a candidate. He might not. I don't think he will, but he's going to have a really good season. He's going to be sort of like mm, Jake Browning had for Washington. Coming on at number five, we have the Ohio State Buckeyes. And I think they're going to be pretty good right here. In my way too early rankings, I have the Ohio State Buckeyes at number two. They're just dropped out of my top four. I don't think they're going to make a college football puff appearance. CJ Sharon, Jackson, Pitt, and Jigbo are absolutely awesome. Number four, I have Clemson. And in my way too early, I had them at number six. But Clemson is a really good team. And I think Clemson makes the college football playoff this year. And they'll probably verse. You'll see later. At Clemson, DJ Ulele, give him another chance. Or they could put Cade Klubnik in. And he's going to be an absolute force. Coming in at number three, we have the Georgia Bulldogs. And come on, you had to put them there. And in my way too early, they were number three. And Georgia's just really, really good, and you really can't say nothing else. They have one of the best coaches in college football, right behind Nick Saban. Kirby Smart building an absolute dynasty of Georgia. I think Georgia has a few more years of being number three, and then they'll be number one for like 10 years, just like Alabama was. Give them a few more years. Number two is the Alabama Crimson Tide. Them and Bryce Young, I had him out way too early, number one. Bryce Young's going to put up another Heisman-like year. Him and Warren Arsene are going to lead the nation in almost everything together. And the defense is going to be really, really good. And Nick Saban is the best coach in college football history. He's going to lead this team to another national championship appearance. I don't know if they're going to take the win or not, but I know they're going to be there. And they're going to want revenge from what happened last year. And that is a no-brainer. They have one of the best coach quarterbacks in college football, best receiving core in college football. They have some of the best secondaries in college football. And Alabama is an absolute force. You don't want to mess with them because they're probably going to beat everybody on their schedule. The hardest game that they're probably going to win easily is Texas A&M. They have, like, so many top ten, t- top ten games. They're probably going to win all of them by, like, 30. That's how good Alabama is. Coming in at number one, my surprise of the whole world, and that's the Oklahoma Sooners. You can say what you want to say, but I think what they did with the transfer portal this year is really, really good. And when you have a quarterback like Dylan Gabriel, who's the best to ever lead an U- UCF team, it's absolutely crazy to think. I absolutely love Dylan Gabriel, and I know that they have a new coach, but he came from a team that's used to winning college football national championships, and that's Brent Venables. I mean, everything about Venables is a good coach. I have him. I have Venables inside my top He's my, he's my best coach hiring of the 2022 year. He's going to make Oklahoma's defense really, really good. And he's going to make their offense even better. Dylan Gabriel is going to be one of the best quarterbacks in college football. He might even win the Heisman. I think Oklahoma might get a national championship under their belt this year because of how good I think their depth is. And hate me or not, be like, oh, you're stupid. I had hype around Oklahoma last year. They did not success. But I absolutely love this Oklahoma program. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe and comment down below. I know I have a hot day for my number one pick, but it's okay, guys. And I think it's going to happen. See you guys in the next one. Bye.